Hi, this is Melody Joy, and I'm reporting for Scott Access Entertainment Spotlight. And I'm here at Servant's House Christian Academy as the students are preparing for their science fair, the first one in the school's history. And I'm here with the director of the school, Mrs. Roy, and I'm going to ask her a couple of questions. So, what, uh, how long have the students been working at this? Well, we presented the idea to them just after Christmas. Um, there was a lot of discussion, but I think really they only started working on it probably in the last two weeks. Wow. So okay. Yeah, see hit them then. <laughs> okay. What do you expect to see accomplished here today? The first thing we're looking for is that the kids get excited about science, yeah. that they start seeing new possibilities, that they see potential in themselves, what they can produce. Um, I've had a sneak peek at some of their efforts and uh, it's been very, very encouraging what we've seen them produce in a short time with no real experience behind them. We have invited another school to join us today, the Christian Academy, and they are sending um, about nine students, I believe. So uh, there's that also, the, that the ability to interact with other schools and see what other students are producing and to showcase their own work. So uh, do they already talk about next year, what they want to do for next year? So just by that I feel we've accomplished quite a lot today. The kids are interested in science, they're interested in presenting, and they're really putting their very best effort into this. I'm pleased with this. Well, that sounds great. I'm looking forward to seeing it all. So let's take some time now and we'll go and interview some of the students. So here we are with Chad and he has done, I think, a fantastic job on his project. And we're going to just ask him a couple of questions. So Chad, can you tell us, what have you been doing here? Making sodium acetate. Making sodium acetate. So how long did it take you to work on this project? Four days. And was it enjoyable or was it long and tiring? It was long, long and tiring. What did you enjoy about this? The guy was making a fun chemical. A fun chemical. That's so if there's anything that you could do different, what would you do different now? Put my things in order. Put, oh, put the stuff in order. But is there anything you would have done with the experiment? Something different? Excellent. Fantastic. Well, thank you so much for talking with us. So, Mariana, can you tell us what are you doing for your science project today? Body language. Body language. What kind of body language? Um, how to tell if people are lying or not. How to tell if people are lying or not. Where did you get your information? Um, From the internet? Was this a project that you enjoyed or is doing, working on? So are you going to use your hints about seeing if people are lying in the future or use those tricks? Very good, we look forward to it. So Corinne, can you tell us, what have you been doing? Uh, my project is about glowing water. Glowing water. Interesting. How do you make glowing water? You use a highlighter pen and put in water. No. So how are you going to make it glow? I'm going to use a black, blue light bomb because I use a black one and it did really work. So the blue one you're going to use today? Yes. Excellent. Good job. Daniel, what are you doing for your science project? Making a water tornado. A water tornado. And how are you going to do that? Well, I have a plastic and a made of yeah. And when I turn it on, it's like that. So when I put water inside, water when it will appear. Oh, cool. Very interesting. Where did you get the idea? Um, from the internet. Water tornado. You can find a lot of interesting things on the internet. Good job. <laughs> Make it super fast. Yeah. Me and Jen. Red paint. Uh, Food coloring. We don't have any food coloring.